imagine there's no heavy, it's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do, nothing to kill or die for, and no religion to. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say that John and I am a dreamer, but we're not the only one. I hope that someday you'll join us and the world will be as one. Come aboard and imagine no possessions. I wonder if you can. No need to hunger, a brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. You may say I'm a dreamer, but we're not the only ones. And someday I know that you'll join us and the world will live as one. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of these videos out, people. And if you would like a beautiful book, armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. I'll mail you 5,000 pages of beautiful, inspired worship praise for our living Lord of God because he is worthy of all praise. And during these days of uh, the restoration, it's the foretold time to embrace the Lord's plumb line of Amos 7, for he shall make our wall straight. And these are the days for foretold sickle of Revelation 14, and I am that gospel writer of the everlasting gospel. I'm just going to scroll on down now so you guys can get a better idea of what I could never even get, give away. It's called The Little Book is what I've written because these books are 5,000 pages long and it all looks just like this. It's all about Christ's inspired loving word of our sinful condition by me, the messenger of Malachi 3.1. And uh, painstakingly, for 20 years, I researched and I was inspired to write this everlasting gospel of new revelation, of revelation. And people uh, all over the world don't even think that the Elijah task servant foretold would need revelation in order to be able to restore all things. They're just uh, daft. So it's time to, to move forward. It's time for the salvation for all people of love to re resound. And it is time for the roaring of our Lion of Zion's greatest inspiration. But I wrote this out of love, a gospel truth, all about all the details of what we need to understand for the truth of love, who is the Lord. And uh, as foretold in Matthew 24, the Lord's lightning came from the east so it can be flashed from the west to shine forth the everlasting glory of Isa Yeshua Jesus over those of all religions or none and the lightning of Jesus Christ Almighty it shall resound all over this world winter of change has come and these are days to behold the glory of the Lamb of God and uh, praise God that he shall have his way in the storm and a storming wind of blessedness now comes out of the north of Canada. And as Russia, a latter from the, to the highest heavens, also explodes from the Holy Spirit fire of our living restoration, a renewer of hope, and for he alone is the answer to all questions. And it's time, thus saith Jesus Christ Almighty, it is finished, all the all the gross darkness of Isaiah 60. He is the son of love arising with, with the glory of uh, the radiance of the son of love aglow. And brilliant stars of God's inspiration come forth. Uh, but it has to be dark out before we can see the stars. And know that heaven's refiner's fire of love has melted down Hitler's cross, forged by God's mercy, a brand new weapon of peace in the form of a sickle for his harvest that will be an indestructible cross 
of transformation to all those letting their hate to be crucified as their Messiah once was.